So today we're going to be talking about LawTube. Are they just grifters as Taylor Lorenz and other Washington Post Amber Heard supporter type people say? Or are they much more than that? We're going to get into it. But first, remember, in order to venture deeper, one must venture first. And that's exactly what I'm here to do today. So please, if you would like to join me on my venture to my first 1,000 subscribers, hit that subscription button down below. Without further ado, let's just jump into this. So does making money mean you're a grifter? Or did they provide a service to a lot of people uh, including myself that gave me the inspiration to start a channel like this. So here's the deal. Yes, they provided a lot of content on the Amber Heard vs. Johnny Depp trial. But they gave the real truth from the perspectives of people who deal with the law on a day-to-day -day basis. The information that we got from the mainstream media is not accurately portrayed, and it hasn't been for six years. This trial, this debacle, this whole situation that's been going on since 2016 has been so suppressed, lies have been told, the case in the UK keeps being cited, but is not really the real issue at hand here, right? So these people worked their asses off. And yes, sorry if you don't like cussing, they worked their asses off to get here, to provide a service to people to understand the legalities in really what is happening in a case that polarized many of us. So let's start with Legal Bites, for instance. I actually started watching this trial on Law and Crime by myself, editing at my computer. I do video production for work, so on my second monitor, I was having the trial play in the background so I could keep up with what was going on. Well, my girlfriend told me, hey, I found a group of lawyers that talk every day. You should really consider watching it. I said, okay, I will give it a try. So she would talk to me, and since we wanted to connect and be able to talk about the trial and what we understand, I thought, hey, maybe I should watch it in the same way that she's watching it so we can kind of connect a little bit better on our conversations. I tried Legal Bites for a day, and when she came home, I said, I didn't really like it. It really was distracting, and I didn't get enough out of the trial. So the next day, I tried it again, and I thought, wow, okay, this commentary is actually really good because while I understood that on face value, I really didn't understand it in a legal term. I understand it because I have a common sense on how these things work, but I didn't understand it legally. So when you're talking about a group of people that stream for 11 hours a day, this isn't just like they're just being handed free money. They are providing a service. They're providing a service for a lot of us. And at some point there were tens of thousands of people watching. And yes, some people super chatted, but not everybody did. I didn't send a single super chat and I got comments read. I understood what was going on. I was involved and I got a better legal understanding from a group of legal professionals who do this for a living. So for these people to come out and say they're just grifters and they're not providing a service and they're just making easy content, that is not true. If you've ever try to make a piece of content or stream and make it go fluid, it is not easy. So the fact that people like Rakita Law, Emily D. Baker, Alita at Legal Bites, and all these other people were able to do this day in and day out, it is not easy. This is a job. This is a service to a lot of us. So what's the difference between paying for cable to watch your favorite TV show or paying a few super chats so you can talk to someone that's given you content for six plus weeks? There is not a huge disconnect between those two ideas. We pay for services all the time and these legal professionals have given us a service. They have given us more than what they are calling grifting. So the truth is, is no, they are not grifters. They've provided a service, they've provided content, they've provided watch time, they've given us a community that we can talk. I'm now involved in a community, my channel is starting to grow, it's very exciting stuff, all because they have given a platform and a community behind law, behind entertainment, behind law, behind YouTube, behind Twitter, behind all of this stuff, there's now a community, and just because that they've made money from it doesn't mean that they're grifters. The truth is that they have taken the truth away from the mainstream media and people like Taylor Lorenz, sorry to name drop you a couple times, but you suck, okay? You do suck. Um, and that is the issue. They're upset that they no longer control the narrative. They were no longer to hide this web of lies that they've been hiding. So when it came out and all these facts started to come out in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands, and I say that, but it's really been like hundreds of millions of views go towards the truth. They don't like that because they don't have control over it. And that is the truth. So no, a lot of these people did not just start making content when the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial came out. A lot of these people have had channels for years, dating back to 2010, 2006, 2011, 2012. They've been making content for a long time in the legal field. And fortunately for them, there's been a big enough of a case that was polarizing to so many people 
that they finally were able to grow a big platform from it. There is nothing against that. People do it. They find their niche every day on YouTube. This is nothing against them from anyone except for people like you, Taylor except for publications that know they have lost the grip on us, regular people. Uh, I haven't been gripped for a long time by that, but this is great. This is all about exposing lies. That is why I've made this channel, is so that I can expose lies on my own free time and really try to get the truth out there, and that's exactly what these people are doing. So thank you guys so much. Keep doing this. LawTube, I know none of you guys are probably going to watch this, but we do thank you. We know you're not grifters. The people support you. So remember, in order to venture deeper, one must venture first, and that's exactly what I'm here to do today. Like, share, subscribe. Talk to me down in the comments. I really do appreciate all of your time. Until next time, thank you.